Welcome back. Now, allergy season is in full effect, so today we're talking about everything from how to reduce symptoms to treatment options that can help with Dr. Samson Davis. Welcome back. <laughs> Doc, you're back. Samson. Yes. It's great to be back. Why is it <laughs> we say the word allergies and immediately my nose starts to <laughs> Is sleep. that psychosomatic or what? I think what? it's contagion. Okay. When, exactly, <laughs> when exactly does the springtime allergy season start? So we're in the heart of it now. Okay. Right? So it starts as early as February. I started sneezing in February yes, one day. Yes, yes. And I couldn't stop. <laughs> That's the beginning sign. Okay. And it goes as long as into the summer. So with climate change, though, we're seeing allergy season kick into full effect earlier in the mm. year. Now. All right. What are some of the triggers? Obviously so, pollen. Yeah. yeah, pollen. So pollen is made by grass, weeds, trees, right? Mm -hmm. So pollen, as you start to see the grass grow and you see the trees budding, then you know the allergy season is coming, so mm -hmm. you have to prepare. And it depends, like certain ages, like certain stages of life, you can have severe allergy seasons and certain ages of life, it could get better for you. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I go, sometimes I don't have any, for a couple of seasons I have nothing and then it kicks in for a season. Yes, it's, it's it does. interesting like that. So what do you do for seasonal yeah. allergies? Like what, what, how do we know if it's a cold or allergies? Right. You know, like in the office here, Everybody takes to, they sneeze, and then they're like, it's Attack. my allergies, because they know that we're all panicky about yes. somebody spreading a germ. Yes, especially coming off the heels of COVID. We worry about right. that yes. as well. Right. But as, as far as the, uh, you know, it's, it's allergies because of the symptoms you get. Mm -hmm. So you get the watery, itchy eyes. I usually start from the head and work my way mm -hmm. down. So okay. the watery, itchy eyes, you get the dark circles, the congestion, you know, you get the scratchy, itchy throats, mm -hmm. the cough. You just feel miserable. Now, viral illnesses like colds and, and something that's con like contagious, that you can pass usually lasts a shorter period of time. As you know, allergy season waxes and wanes. It can uh -huh. go on for weeks and months at a time. Do allergies, get, do allergies get worse with age? It depends. It depends. It depends on your immune system. So some people actually improve and they, they were bothered by pollen. Yeah. They get you know, used to it. And they get used to it. Uh -huh. Then yeah. depending on your immune system is a coin toss. So some okay. people actually pick up things and all of a sudden dog dander or, or mold causes their allergies to be triggered. We used to live in Soho where none of us suffered from allergies. There's no trees down and then there. Then we moved to the Upper East Side and it truly like all of us suddenly yeah. discovered allergies. the park yeah. is right there. Yeah. And you can see the pollen decorated cars. Yes, you know? yes. <laughs> yellow yes. Yeah. <laughs> so what are the fastest ways to treat seasonal allergies? So I like, you know, the one thought is to remove yourself from the exposure, but with spring and summer, who doesn't want to be outdoors? Right. Come of course. on. And then with your kids playing, every activity that you know, you have to be out there. So oral antihistamines is key. You want to start mm -hmm. with that. Uh, you can also use decongestants as well. There's nasal sprays. You got decongestant nasal sprays. You got steroid nasal sprays. Um, you know, for severe, severe cases, you want to carry an EpiPen, especially for your young little ones. You want to mm -hmm. make sure you have EpiPen. And you could take allergy shots as well. Allergy shots. What about just like I find if I go for a nice long walk in Central Park, uh -huh. I come back and I shower just because I get all of the pollen that may have gathered on me off of me. Very key, very important. So if, you, if you're outdoors and you're exposed to the pollen, you want to decrease that allergen. So removing your clothes, washing your clothes mm -hmm. right away, maybe uh, taking your outfit or whatever it is, having certain clothes that you wear when you go to the park, mm -hmm. you know, and certain ones that you keep change. away so yeah. you can change. All right, yeah. we're going to take a break. When we come back, Dr. Davis has given us tips on how to get through allergy season. Stick around. We're back with Dr. Samson Davis, and we're talking all things spring allergies. Okay, so let's specifically uh, talk about what you do recommend. Yeah, like nasal sprays. Talk about that. So there's a few. So there's one called chromalin sodium. So what is that? It's a big, long medical name. It's, it's a mast cell stabilizer. So what does that mean? It prevents the body from reacting to the allergen. Okay. So that's okay. the first one I like. Then there's a decongestant. So once your body has reacted, say if, the, if you haven't mm -hmm. had your hands on the chromalin and your body has reacted, you can take a decongestant to kind of decrease some of that inflammation that's there. Uh -huh. And okay. you can also take a nasal steroid to uh, decrease the inflammatory process. I never understand nasal sprays because they tell you to like, like squeeze it in, but then don't sniff. Yeah. But then you're just sitting there <laughs> and it's dripping. with it yeah. dripping out of your nose. It's Is it really important to not sniff? <laughs> well, uh, 
I would say I don't think it is, but at the same time, I do follow what the instructions yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about over-the-counter stuff like Claritin, Zyrtec, and Benadryl? So I like Claritin. I like Zyrtec. I like Benadryl. The Claritin, Zyrtec is like your second generation. So it's the more kind of newer type of mm -hmm. medications. Uh -huh. Allegra is one of them as well. Mm -hmm. But they don't make you sleepy, whereas the first generation, Benadryl makes you sleepy. Sleepy. Right. How about air filters in the house? I like air filters because it decreases that airborne uh, allergen mm -hmm. from sort of circulating in the air. It doesn't, it's not 100% foolproof, like in, as far as like right. treatment plan, but it limits the sort of exposure to allergen. I find the best treatment is just a combination of every little thing, and uh, what works for you will not work for you. Right. I, I heard drinking liquids. Yeah. Is, you, you recommend drinking liquids? I, I, I yeah. love liquids. Any liquids? <laughs> no, not any. <laughs> nah. Rose? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the, non, the non-alcoholic okay. rosé, right? All right? So uh, water, juices, non-alcoholic beverages is very important. And also your warm beverages, uh, broth, tea, tea uh -huh. uh, soup, and then steam. Some people, if you go into the bathroom, you'll find that the steam helps to open up those nasal passages for you. Just unloading the dishwasher. Yes. Like, <laughs> the steam from that will really give you a... That's the supercharge. reason why I do the dishes. Yeah, that's that yeah. Yeah. So once you have your, you have an allergic reaction, how many days, how long does it usually take to go away? So the allergic reaction depends. If it's a severe one, you, you obviously will go to the hospital. But if mm -hmm. you're monitoring, that's why like sort of uh, prevention is key. So if you know your son or daughter or you yourself are susceptible, yeah. susceptible you start taking your medications early so you can prevent that kind so of reaction. So you don't wait for it to like become a full-blown allergy right. attack. You're like... Pollen, high pollen count today. Let's take the watch the, the weather report. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you won't be behind the uh, situation. Yep. Thank you, Dr. Davis. Yes, Always you. great to have Always you. Great to have you here. Right. For more information like this, visit our website. Uh, Coming up next, Grace Potter performs. Stick around.